Yo, what's going on guys? Good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are around the world. I just got out of work and I've come home to this lovely package right here. So I figured I'd open it on camera for you guys. If you guys don't know what this is, by the way, just from the brand alone, it is my premix. I was running low for a little bit now, decided to order a case of it from Amazon since um, I use so much of it. It only makes sense for me to just, you know, buy it in bulk at this point because I'm tired of buying it one by one and then running out and then having to order again so I figure just buy the entire case this time so let's just open it real quick make sure I cover up my information here don't need to leak my address out to the world just you know I'm gonna blur it out if I just get on video and pop this open it's pretty hard doing this one-handed come on all right there we go and there is my case what is this my case of premix. All right, it should be like 12 here. Yep. Just give you guys a closer look. If you guys don't already know what it is, you know I gotta premix my gas, so that's how I do it. You know my bottles of premix. Lovely things. Love these things. Gonna go through like hopefully, hopefully this will last me a long time. And if I'm being honest, just from like failing my car, right? I would say I usually buy them like one by one or if anything in cases of six, which is half of a, of a regular case. So just like buy it in bottles of six. I would say six has lasted me a, has lasted me a pretty long time before, like a solid few months. So 12, I'm hoping it will last me a whole year. But you know, with the amount of driving that I've been doing recently, I don't know if it will. So, you know, we got this much for now. And if I need to order more, I'll order more. But you know, if, if, if anyone works at a, you know a premix company they want to send me some stuff you know send, send it to your boy's way i could definitely need it because you know these things are not cheap um i think this case was like almost 120 bucks but it's a lot cheaper than buying it individually because like they they could easily go for like 15 to 20 on amazon or ebay so this saves me a lot of money just buying it in bulk so that's probably what i'm going to be doing from now on So I said I was hoping that this bottle or that case would last me a year, right? But I just filled up my Sonar adapter reservoir and that took up the entire bottle. So, you know, that's this entire bottle gone. So I don't know, maybe it won't last me a year after all. And for some reason, it is actually pouring right now. I'm wearing a white t-shirt. Hold up. This is kind of crazy. The sun is out, sun's out, everything's out and just randomly starts pouring. All right, guys, currently hiding out in my car from the rain. Honestly, kind of kind of caught me off guard it didn't say anything about it raining or anything like that on the weather app so you know wore a white t-shirt that might have been a mistake but i was supposed to drive right now i was supposed to drive over to romy's and we're supposed to have dinner together before heading to a pretty big car meet tonight but that's not happening because the gate's locked and if you guys don't know this is not my driveway i'm just borrowing driveway while he takes his uh, porsche out so he locked the gate he forgot that i was gonna go somewhere later so he's gonna come back and open the gate for me but in the meantime i'm probably just gonna get picked up by romy and we're gonna go have dinner and then come back and grab the car after he unlocks the gate but uh I know I've been going to a lot of car meets recently. I think the past three videos I've gone to car meets and it's probably gonna be the last one where I do that because uh, it's been, you guys know how I feel about car meets or maybe you guys don't know, but after like after you go to so many car meets, right? Especially with, with the same group of people, same group of cars, and sometimes even the same location, it does kind of get repetitive. But today is supposed to be a pretty big one. A lot of cars are gathering and you know, I'm gonna go and check out what's happening. And also Romy has a friend who's getting into cars and he, he's, he's thinking about buying a Mark III Supra potentially that or a c4 carvet so you know it's gonna be his first car meet thought i'd take him along and just show him what that's like and maybe convince him towards the jdm side instead of the american muscle but you know just currently hiding out from the rain while i wait to get picked up and we'll see what happens there hello i get to be passenger princess today <laughs> <laughs> it started pouring yeah you didn't see no, it wasn't pouring at all oh what the hell my, my car is like all wet damn my car's all Dry. What the fuck? <laughs> All right, guys, uh, back in my car. We're about to go to the meet right now. Just dropped me back off home so I could get my car. Cold start. Let's see. Hold up. Let me let me get wait for the system prime force. Priming, priming, priming. Uh, feels like it's been forever since I sat in this car. Okay, nice. Oh no, 
I think I need a I think I need to fill up. I think I have time to fill up though. Yeah, I think I have time. I'm not running late right now, but uh currently just got in back in my car. I gotta let the car warm up a little bit before we start moving, but my friends are I don't know if you guys can see there's like a there's a car around that corner. They just dropped me off, but now I gotta I think we're all pulling up to the meet in my car though, so we're gonna go back to their place and drop off his car and then we'll see you at the meet. Alright, guess where we are? <laughs> we're at the gas station! Woo! So I never show this part on camera because my hands always get so oily, so I don't like to hold my camera. And remember when I said that we weren't gonna be late? We're, we're gonna be late now, so you know, I gotta get gas. Right, let's see. It's not because we're just do, doing some science work here. Oh, so cute. Is, uh, Got a funnel thing going <laughs> on. All right. Oh, no. The, the numbers are disappearing. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> so now I'm having a hard time reading it. Let me just get it down to like two minutes. It's an interview now. Uh, How's it going? <laughs> Yeah, but uh, I, I mentioned earlier in the video though uh, that I, I know someone who's looking into a friend that's looking to buy a Mark III Supra or a C4 Corvette, that's him. So hopefully when we get to the car meet, we can see a lot of Mark III Cor uh, Supras. Mark I don't think, Corvette, I, don't <laughs> yeah. Corvette. I don't think there's any, I don't, I don't think I've ever seen like any old Corvettes at these meets. So uh, don't get your hopes up for that. Yeah, it's, okay. it's, it's mostly JDM stuff. Yeah, I don't think. But yeah, now we're late because I, I went and get gas. <laughs> I love it, YouTube. Oh, like, RXA, thank like, you. Oh, I'm the guy who always comments like a bumper. Uh, thank you, bro. Wow. Damn, you're famous. Stop, man. <laughs> Actually, like just a crazy amount of people here like just to show you guys what I really mean by that like when I say a lot of people like I don't mean just a lot of people this is like a lot of <laughs> like this entire line that's just part all this stretch is all the way down over there so you know this is what really happens when like the entire Queens car community or like just New York City car community come together A86 you know <laughs> oh sorry <laughs> This is what really happens when everybody just gathers together. We got a lineup of like just Z's right here. I know Sean, not, not the Sean, the other Sean is just dying inside right now. Because you know, he still wants to see. But I think we saw a Supra over there that I want to talk to the guy though. Because you know, this guy's looking at Mark III Supra. So let's actually go talk to that owner. Maybe let's check out the car. And uh, yeah, 1990. Bro, I like it. You got the you got the sweater yeah. to match, yo. That's cool. Oh, I need that's I need one that says RXA. <laughs> got it right there. But uh, yeah, so honestly, um, see, people are selling these. Matching his car. Everybody wants the Mark IV. Yeah. So because the Mark IV is impossible, the Mark III's are easier to buy. That's like what it's like for RX7s right now. Everybody wants the FD. They can't afford the FD. The FCs are still dumb cheap. Exactly. Uh, Hydraulics. So they had the original the nice interior. It's, it's honestly so clean, so clean for like a car from the 80s. You don't like, you just don't see interiors that this intact. I think the, my favorite thing about car meets is like how excited the boys get uh, talking about the cars. Like we just met this guy, um, Angelo. He's really cool. And when we approached him, he was so excited. A lot of people like a lot of people like the Lexus is rolling in money, I guess. <laughs> when, you, when your car doesn't do the flexing for you, you know, you just put the money on the dash, you know, does all the talking. The guy with the Supra is really nice, though. Like, he showed us everything, yeah, like, all the he cars. He was so excited. Yeah, to he, he, he like, seems so Aw. genuinely, like, just like happy yeah, person. So uh, yeah. I, I, I felt happy to him. Yeah, yeah I feel be happy be. for him. That's gonna be him. Be. You gonna get yeah. one now? Has yeah. he convinced you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you, or, did you like, look inside? Yeah, it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice, not gonna lie. Yeah. Alright guys. Alright guys, peep the new car. I don't know who the owner of that car is, but I really want to talk to him. I want to look at the inside and everything. If, if you guys don't already know, the RX-7 is my dream car, so like... Seeing it in person at a meet is literally... It's 
like, this is literally making my night. It looks so good. Oh my god. I want one so bad. Like, I would do some crazy shit for our RX-7. I don't know who the owner is, though. Another one. Do you know? I like the white ones. Nice. <laughs> Can I check it out actually though? Nice. I got I got two good light perks. <laughs> got a light crew on me. <laughs> the interns. Okay, okay. This is a dream car. Right, yeah, how do you feel? How do you feel? Oh my god. It's my first time in an RX. Oh shit. It's my first time in an RX7. Bro, this is actually making my night. I just got like two lights on the steering wheel. It's like, wow, this is so cool. It's moving normal. We've got the GTR corner right here. Got all the GTRs. We're missing a rotary corner, is what's really happening. All the Mazda should gather in one corner. Gary, the TikTok. See, this is why. Oh, this sorry, is, this I need to watch it. This is why. Why? This is why. Yeah. Post, uh, this is a post meat meal. It's kind of becoming a ritual now that we always get something to eat afterwards. I know everybody's tired, so you know, try not to record too much. But how was your experience for your first meet? It was good, it was fun. Everything I wanted it to be. Yeah. Are you gonna are you gonna buy a Mark III soup right now? I don't know. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. I, I, I was saying though, you don't see much American cars, so like I knew we weren't gonna see a C4 there for you. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I think I'm stuck between the 300 SX, the 240 SX, and then the uh, and then the Mark II Supra. So we'll see. When you do, uh -huh. we'll pick do one. Yeah, I was gonna say you have to you have to invite me. I'll check it out for you. I'll crawl under the car, everything. <laughs> Alright guys, you made it to the end of the video and if you guys made it this far, I hope you guys know I appreciate every single one of you from the bottom of my heart for taking the time out of the day to watch the content. So thank you guys so much. I was honestly going to add a little bit more to this video. I was going to do like a night drive home um, to see if the car shoots any flames. But after dropping off everybody, what's going on outside? <laughs> Uh, but yeah, after I dropped off everybody where they needed to be, I just went straight home and I knocked out myself because I was just so tired. But yeah, uh, there isn't really anything else for me to update you guys on. I'm still dealing with that situation where that uh, where someone stole my license information and got a, a bunch of tickets under my name. There's the investigation still ongoing. I don't know what's going on with that. So hopefully I'll hear back from them soon. I am in contact with an um, officer friend of mine. He's going to help me look into it just to double check everything and to see if I actually need to file a report for like identity theft or if this would be considerate. Because, you know, obviously I whatever car has been getting tickets under my license is not my name, right? So I mean, it's not my car and it's all under my name. So it, I guess in a, a form, a way, it is identity theft. So he's looking into seeing if I need to file a case for that. But yeah, aside from that, everything else has been going good. I'm still dealing with the vibration on the RX-8. Uh, not 100% sure what it is, but I already ordered spark plugs, waiting for it to come in and then, you know, put that on and maybe it'll solve the issues. I, have, I am noticing the vibration is more... It's most like noticeable once I code start it. After I code start it and the idle normalizes at 900 RPM, that's when the most vibration I feel is. But after driving it a little bit, and even if I turn off the car and turn it back on later in that day, it, that vibration doesn't persist. Where it does, but like, you know, it's not as nearly as noticeable as it does when I first start the car off for the first time in a day. So I don't know, maybe that is something with spark plug related or maybe even ignition, uh, ignition coils related, but I don't know, that's something I'm gonna have to dig a little bit deeper into to find out but i'm probably gonna wrap up the video here i feel like this is already gonna be a pretty long video so i'm just gonna wrap it up here hopefully you guys are having a good day good night wherever you're around in the world and until the next video guys stay safe out there all right peace